Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. First off, I have to thank Funda for uploading this video. It's originally been on my channel, but this is a show I do every Sunday that I think is really relevant. And I know there's a lot of level-headed people on this channel. So this is about gaming and depression, guys. In 2009, I uh, unfortunately lost my father quite suddenly. Um, I was literally at work one day. Uh, the door was opened by my manager and my little brother was standing outside. Uh, everyone had quite a morbid look on their face and I was I, I was actually confused and uh, something in my stomach, I knew something was wrong, I just didn't know what it was that was a matter. Um, my brother broke the news to me and it, it, it didn't really settle in, um, so he instantly phoned my mum and my mum had to tell me um, that my dad had passed away. I didn't know at the time how he had passed away, um, but he he was gone. Um, later on I found out that he had a stomach ulcer, which he could have quite easily had gone to the doctors and sorted out. Um, but he's a bit like me, I'm just like my father, where I'm a self-healer and I chose not to, he chose not to do nothing about it. Um, for several days his dinner had collected in the, the oven and um, it was quite evident that he was in some some excruciating pain. Me and my dad growing up, uh, my mum always encouraged me to go and see him but he was busy doing his own thing I suppose and the fatherhood thing. Not that it wasn't him but he wasn't your dad that was there when you woke up out of your bed and ran into your mum and dad's room. That, that wasn't my life. Um, which didn't affect me too much. Um, I always went and seen him when I could. Uh, and the one big thing that me and my dad always shared was gaming. Um, he introduced me to so many different consoles. He had uh, the Japanese version of the uh, SNES, the blue Mega Drive from Japan. He had it all. Um, some of the best fighting games I've ever played were on the Japanese uh, Super Nintendo. Um, he had it all, he had it all. However, I felt as if he was taken far too soon. And um, it affected me really bad, it affected me really bad. I um, I went into severe depression, I was signed off work. Um, and I just, I really didn't have a clear cut idea of what was going on. Uh, it, it confused me quite a lot. I felt as though even though I spoke to people that I was secluded and I, I had no one to speak to um, and I, I did become submersed in my PlayStation um, and it was something that actually helped me quite a lot and this is the point of this video here I actually started playing um, Call of Duty quite a lot and it's actually how I started getting into the game and through the game I actually met some people uh, now I'd consider them to be best of friends you know what I mean and I found that when I was on the game all the things that were going on in my life just disappeared because I was that focused on the task at hand which was to wreck lobbies uh, and obviously them times it was the likes of modern warfare that was out and um, it was absolutely ace absolutely ace and um it definitely helped me rehabilitate myself. Another thing I did was go to the gym. That was something that was suggested by my doctor to have a type of focus outside of my uh, personal life and just to have something that was very routine. And obviously I was counting calories and checking my weight and had my workout routine and so forth. But the, so forth. But the, the gaming thing seemed to help me the most because you do tend to go into a different dimension and things aren't real in the gaming world to a degree and it's make-believe but sometimes being in a make-believe world makes you forget how harsh the real world is and um, that is definitely something that happened for me and uh, the, the point of this video really is to, to ask any of you guys has gaming helped you in certain situations that you found difficult to deal with? Um, I know for me, it was a case of putting on my headphones 
and just staring at the TV and just literally not even being involved in the real world, uh, take my headphones off, turn off my PlayStation and I'd rather go to my bed to go to sleep to avoid facing certain things that were going on at the time in my life. Um, that seemed to be a regular schedule for me, uh, which was just to literally go on any type of game that I knew that I loved and just playing it for hours upon hours on end. I mean, Gran Turismo was another one because I'm a car, an absolute car fanatic. And I'd done stuff like the endurance races for 24 hours. That God knows I didn't do the 24 hour stint, but I know I put in a couple of 16 hour shifts. Um, and it, it, it was hard for me to talk to people face to face. I think that was the sort of pride thing that got in the way. Whereas, when I started to speak to people on the, the PSN network via my mic, they didn't know me, I didn't know them, they couldn't see who I was, they didn't know nothing about my life to judge me. And it, it over time it became um, a thing where I played with the same people and then every now and again a conversation would come up and you'd start getting into a conversation playing the game and before you know it, you'd be able to talk to them about certain things because you felt comfortable to. You didn't feel like you was judging. I mean, at my workplace, uh, a thing that they actually do is you can, if you're going through a bad time in your life, you can actually phone a counsellor and speak to a counsellor over the phone, um, which I personally feel works wonders because, especially being a male, I find it hard to open up to certain people Apart from my uh, my mum and my other half, but my other half wasn't in my life at the time when my, my dad passed away and it was only so much I wanted to speak to my mum about because I did feel like indirectly my mum, although she's my mother and she's there for me, I didn't. I felt like because she had a past with my dad that I'd be upsetting her so I felt like I couldn't talk to her sometimes. Um, that was obviously an assumption because my mum is quite <laughs> quite a sh mentally strong woman so I, I knew I could have spoken to her but at the time I had so many doubts about life in general never mind speaking to my mum about my dad um, and I just found that speaking to certain people really helped me pull through what is still one of the hardest things I've had to deal with I mean I, I started to get on with my dad at about 18 years old and I kind of put aside the fact that he hadn't been at certain basketball or football athletics um, to support me and all that was done by my mum but once I started to realise that I was a man in my own right and I didn't need him to babysit me in that manner that's when I started to, to get on with him and then he was just taken so quickly from me so guys that is literally a bit more about Mr. Tracky, me getting a bit personal about myself. Um, what are your views on depression? I know some people look at it as a taboo. Um, I'm just literally trying to provoke everyone to speak about this. So guys, if you could leave some comments in the comment section on your views, this is quite dear to me. So obviously I'd like everyone to keep it real. I'm not really into the entertaining the clowns. Anyone that's got something bad to say, I ain't gonna pay attention to you. Guys, that is it from me. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.